Polka Cave, I don't think you're ready for this because I'm not even ready for this. I've been working on this for over two months now and I can't believe it's finally happening. What you're looking at right here is over 18,000 booster packs of Pokemon cards ranging from 1999 all the way up to current generation. And I've created my own product and I'm so excited to announce this with y'all right now. The Pokerev packs. These are like the greatest thing I feel like that I've ever worked on. I'm extremely like, I'm just, I, I don't even know if I should be putting this video out yet because like clearly no, it's not ready yet. But right here, I'm gonna give you guys uh, an overview of what you can expect to pull out of these. But basically the general idea here is that you will get six booster packs inside of here. One of them is gonna be a bonus pack that can range in value all the way up to over $250 in value. Um, so just to give you an overview here, the five packs you'll get will be from the Sword and Shield era. I literally have everyone from Sword and Shield one all the way up to Evolving Skies, um, besides the holiday packs. Uh, but, okay, then the sixth pack here is gonna be a bonus pack, which could be, you have a one in 25 chance of pulling a gold colored um, pack. So inside here, there'll be like different colored um, packs inside there that will have another pack inside of it, basically, depending on which like tier you get out of here. So for example, the highest tier is gold. And like, there's just some of the examples of the packs you can put out of there, like jungle. Um, I won't name them all right now, cause I'm gonna actually, I'm, I'm literally gonna show you everything I'm putting inside of these. Um, and then the next down is gonna be the silver tier, which is a one in 10 shot of getting one of those packs out of there. Then the next one down is gonna be the red tier, which is the X, Y era, the sun and moon era, and the silver era, uh, or I'm sorry, the silver tier is the black and white era. I'm getting like ahead of myself, because I wanna show you guys all this. And then the green tier is basically gonna be an extra sword and shield era pack. So let's jump in. Um, I'm gonna say this to the end. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this over here at the very end of this video, I'm going to actually open up. This is a final, like this, is, I, I've gone through so different, ver so many different versions of this, but this is the final version. This is a sample. I'm going to open that up at the end of here. But like inside this tote right here, uh, or storage bin or whatever, is all the gold tier packs. So the highest tier. Inside here is all the silver, and inside here is going to be all the red. So I'm going to start off here by showing you guys all of the stuff that you will normally get inside of the poker red packs. So you'll get five packs. Um, so I have seven different sets, so it'll be different. So what you see on the packaging definitely won't be exactly what you get. You could get that exactly, but it's going to be uh, varied. But basically to start off here, I have a stack here. These are sword and shield base. Like this came out in 2020, like the beginning of 2020, um, February, 2020. So I'm going to give you guys an overview here of all of the packs and everything like that. So I'm literally, I'm just going to crack this open right now with you guys because I want to do, I want to show you guys like all this stuff. It's crazy. There's 18,000 packs here. All right, let's go. So here we have Sword and Shield base. And this is where it all started. This is where it all started with Sword and Shield. But here's a booster box of it. So man, it, it, it's crazy. This already feels old, but it's really not that old. It's just, it, it's already really hard to get. So I'm gonna open this up. I'm just gonna open it up right now. I'm gonna show you guys the packs. You might not have seen these in a while. I mean, seriously, when's the last time we opened up Sword and Shield base set? Um, but you get the gold Zacian and Zamazenta card you could pull out of this set. Oh, dude, I forgot about that Snorlax. So here's the pack artworks, dude. I haven't seen these in forever. And then the Zacian and Zamazenta back there. So there they are. These are the different artworks here from Sword and Shield base. This already, is it weird like to say that this already feels old? Like, I, I can't be. I guess so, but that Snorlax, literally, that card and the Zacian and Zemazena gold cards feel like forever ago. All right, so that is one of the five packs that you could get. Um, then we're gonna move on to, so you can see I have them stacked here. So this right here, these three are Rebel Clash. So I don't have a ton of Rebel Clash. I mean, I guess you gotta put it all into perspective here, but you know, depending on what you're looking, I mean, that's a lot for, you know, three cases is still a lot in the grand scheme of things, but I didn't, um, I didn't put a ton. Rebel Clash, I would say definitely isn't the best set. Why can't I open this? From the Sword and Shield era, but I wanted to put every set in here that I could. So this would be Sword and Shield 2, which is Rebel Clash. And as you can see on here, they used to do it where they only would put 
uh, SWSH02 or 01. So it was like you had to remember what the second set was. But then they started doing it where they would actually put the set name. So Darkness of Blaze. But anyway, um, or I think halfway through Darkness of Blaze they did it because like there's some where it says it and some right here where it doesn't. But anyway, Rebel Clash. So the second set from the Sword and Shield era. This is another one of the packs you could get. So again, there's six packs in the Poker Rev packs. One of them is the, the mega bonus pack. The six pack anyway. Um, so here's another set here that you could get. All right, so Rebel Clash. <laughs> another set that honestly I haven't opened up in forever. Like, I actually forgot what these pack artworks look like. I feel like I only opened this set up maybe once on the channel, but here they are. Got that Rillaboom. Um, okay. Decent set, you know. It's still pretty old school. And Sword Shield Base, guys, I forgot to mention, these are like... These are like $200 a box. I think they might be like $225. As of the recording of this, anyway, this is like the beginning of September right now. I don't know exactly when this video is going to drop. And then Rebel Clash. Uh, I think this might be like $125, $150 a booster box. But there's our Rebel Clash. Then we move on to the third set from Sword and Shield era. And this is Darkness Ablaze. I only opened this like a couple times on the channel as well. Darkness Ablaze just just was like here and then it was gone i think these though are definitely at least 200 oh almost that could have been bad at least uh 200 a booster box so darkness of blaze that's when the the charizard v max started here it is this is a case and if you guys don't know six booster boxes in a case these look really nice so darkness of blaze another set man that just pokemon dropped it it was out and then it was gone um i haven't had darkness of blaze in a long time so, Darkness of Blaze, you got the Charizard VMAX on the front there. Oh, dude, that right there looks sick with both of them. Um, ooh, okay, we're going to pull all four of these out here. Got that Scent of Scorch again. This is bringing back memories. This is bringing back memories. So, there's the four artworks from Darkness of Blaze. That's another set that you could pull out of there. And we're going to keep going because there's seven sets from Sword and Shield. So, next up is, I can actually stand up for this because I have a lot of Vivid Voltage. I actually have a lot of all the other sets that are up next here. So Vivid Voltage, um, really good set. The fourth set from the Sword and Shield era. And we're gonna crack open in a case of these. Of course, you got the Chonkachus. There's so many Pikachus in this set. This is probably one of the top, I would say, sets from Sword and Shield era, in my opinion anyway. Uh, some of my favorites are definitely, Evolving Sky is my favorite set from Sword and Shield era. 100% my favorite. Chilling Rain's really good. Um, Battle Styles is, you know, so-so. Vivid Voltage, I think, is really good. Dark Blaze is pretty good. Um, I really like Base. Rebel Clash is meh. And then, um, yeah, so let's, let's go. So we got Vivid Voltage. Dude, I'm so excited to see what you guys pull out of here. And you have no idea, like, it just gets crazier as I keep going here. Once I get up here, it just starts getting real crazy. This is X and Y, Sun and Moon. This is, that's the, the red tier or the second highest tier. This is the silver tier. Um, the next one up and this hat. I, I don't know if you guys can even see that. Okay, that, that's just a little bit of it. And then the gold tier, the highest tier here. Again, that's the packaging. I, I'm really I'm really happy with it. I designed all this, everything from, <laughs> from the, the label to everything in between. Uh, I've just been working on this pretty hard for a while. But anyway, so let's check out this Vivid Voltage box here. Oh, and I guess you guys are probably wondering, when can we get these? Um, so I'm aiming to have these out hopefully by the end of September or the beginning of October. I'll give you guys more information on exactly when and stuff like that. Also, I th it's going to be a 3,000 run of these. So I should, be, I should have 3,000 of these for this first wave of... Um, these packs here, but anyway, Vivid Voltage. So this is a classic set. Got the amazing rares, you got the Pikachus, Celebes, all the good stuff here. These always look really nice for some reason, like extra shiny. But anyway, Vivid Voltage. And yeah, like, so just so you guys know, for the first five packs, not including the six pack, so it'll be random. Like you could have a Vivid Voltage, a Darkness Ablaze, an Evolving Skies pack, a Chilling Rain, like a Battle Style. So you'll have five, but it'll be like, it varies. It's going to be completely random. Anyway, next up is going to be Sword and Shield set number five. Like, this is crazy. This is crazy. I've been working so, so long to, to, to make this happen. Like, ah, oh, I'm just so excited. I just want to see all the crazy stuff you guys pull. And I really, like, 
I just want this to be something that you guys like truly enjoy. Uh, but anyway, Battle Styles is the next setup. So, got a classic here, Battle Styles. See the back of that and everything. I'm just gonna crack right into this one. I'm already making a mess and I haven't even started yet. Come on. All right, so Battle Styles. I think, oh, and Vivid Voltage booster boxes, I think they're hovering around 125, I wanna say, maybe 150 by now. Um, again, this is as of the recording of this. That could change by the time I drop this video. I'm not sure exactly when I'm gonna drop it. But anyway, Battle Styles. Tyranitar, got the alt arts um, in this set. So there's the four artworks. I can't wait till we get to like the, the red tier. All right, moving on. Next up, we have Chillin' Rain. Not too old, you know. I remember this came out pretty recently. Um, right before Evolving Skies, of course. So this is Sword and Shield number six set. Number six. And I, I really wanted to do the holiday sets, but to, to it just I just couldn't make it happen. They're just too tough to get. And like, to, to, it's, it's just... It, but anyway, yeah, I, I got one through seven. Like all, all the main series sets. But anyway, we're going to move on here. Chilling Rain. Nicely wrapped and everything like that, straight from a case. And I'll show you guys the artworks. Oh, it's just cool to see all the sets like lined up like this. Why not? It's all gonna get done anyway, so I might as well show you guys. But yeah, Chilling Rain, really good set. Got the alt arts, the birds, all the good stuff here. So here's the four pack artwork. Oh, actually, you know what? There's five. For some reason, Chilling Rain had five. Kind of random, but yeah. All right, five artworks. Chillin' Rain. Got a little chilly in here, but my favorite set from the Sword and Shield era is the latest set here. Uh, oh, and Chilling Rain boxes. I forget what they go for now. I think 125, I want to say. Maybe 150. Evolving Skies, though, <laughs> is the latest set, and it's more expensive than a lot of these other ones here, besides like going way back here to like Darkness Ablaze and these ones, uh, besides Rebel Clash. But this one, I think, I think these are going for like 175 a booster box right now. And this set came out as of the recording of this like a couple weeks ago, I want to say. It's just a really, really, really good set. I mean, you got the evolutions, you got just so much going on in this set. The Rayquaza, Dragonites, like this is an amazing set. Evolving Skies. Uh, we opened up a ton of packs of these trying to complete it. We didn't quite make it. We got really close, but you know, we tried our best. We, maybe, maybe one day I'll go for those final five cards that are needed here. But we got the Evolving Skies packs here. Here are the four pack artworks. This one's just a building. Like, but anyway, we got Rayquaza, Sylveon, Umbreon, six six set. Um, my favorite, definitely from the Sword and Shield era. And we're gonna keep moving here. So before I move on to the red tier, which are in this. I couldn't even close it. I tried to, but it's too, there's too much. But anyway, before I move on to this tier, uh, here, let me show you this again, right? So green tier would be the lowest tier that you get. So this is basically, if you don't get red, silver, gold, you're gonna get green, which basically means you get another sword and shield era pack. So that'll be your six packs. Um, again, that's the lowest tier, but you could get red, silver, or gold as well. But so you, just so you know, all these sets here, these seven sets from the Sword and Shield era, you're going to get at least five of them. So you can get like Vivid, Battle Styles, Volume Skies, Sword and Shield Base, Darkness Ablaze. And then if you get the green tier, you get another one of these randomly. So you could double up too. Um, but that's, <laughs> that's the, the main starting point here. Then we move on. All right, this is where we start heating up, y'all. You got the AC on in here? I think, I think I'm good. Okay. I'm, Okay, so the next tier up is the red. So you got a one in five shot at getting a red pack. And, and it's like, that's the color in here. I'll, I'll show you it once I open this up too at the end. But like, they're actually colored. So once you open this and you see in there like, oh, I got a red one. That means I get the red tier, the silver, the gold. But anyway, this is the red tier. One in five shot at pulling one of these. And here's all the stuff that are going to be put in. Oh, and it all is from the X and Y era and the sun and moon era. And, like, you can legit pull stuff from 99, from 2000, 2006. Like, I tried to cover almost every, at least a set from every um, era of Pokemon. I didn't hit all of them, but I hit most of them. But anyway, this is the red tier. Look at all this good stuff in here. So 
We got unbroken bonds. Definitely throwing these in here. So if you get the reds here and you see a red, um, a red thing inside of here, that means you got one of these. But anyway, unbroken bonds is one of them. We got forbidden light. So this is from the sun and moon era. This is also going to be from sun and moon era. Then we got evolutions and there's a ton of evolutions. I know you guys love evolutions. You can see it stacked there. Uh, I think I did like, I want to say maybe like six booster boxes of evolutions. Such a good set. And then the value that you can get, I would say probably up to almost like a $20 pack. I feel like would be like the highest value you can get. And again, this is as of the recording this, so obviously this stuff can change values and everything, but probably would be worth up to $20 at max if you get a gold, or I'm sorry, a red tier uh, pack as a bonus. Burning Shadows, did a ton of Burning Shadows. That's a really good set with the Rainbow Charizard. Um, it did a bunch of team up as well, and then there's still a bunch more booster boxes to show you guys. But Burning Shadows and Evolutions, I did quite a bit of. I feel like six booster boxes of each almost, maybe, maybe five booster boxes or so. Um, Cosmic Eclipse. Amazing set. <laughs> the, the tag team cards in here. Um, love that set. Then what else we got? Ultra Prism. So throwing one of these in there as well. So it's like super varied, right? Like that's what I, I – and okay. Like I have my name behind this stuff, right? I want to do the best that I can possibly do for you guys on these packs. Um, you see a lot of weird types of like mystery pack things online and stuff like that. But really like I do my 100% best I could do to make sure you guys have a, like an amazing experience opening these up. I want every single person to open these up and just totally like just enjoy it. Um, and yeah, so that's what we're doing. Um, anyway, so we have Unified Minds, an amazing set as well. You got those tag team cards in here. Uh, the Mew, Mew 2. It's another set again. I always say I feel like it's just like underappreciated. Darkrai and Umbreon, really good set. So I actually did put a few of these ones in here. I think actually, yeah, one, two, three booster boxes. This one was already, like, I, I don't know why. I think I cracked it. I needed like a couple packs for an opening. So it's literally like almost completely full here. But uh, yeah, you can see some of the artworks, just amazing artworks on the front here. Deoxys, Espeon, Garchomp, Giratina, Mewtwo and Mew. So we'll put that over here. And then Lost Thunder. Dude, I have not opened up this very often. We got Lost Thunder though, nice set as well. And ending it with Roaring Skies. So totally like, I mean, you could get Evolutions, Team Up, Burning Shadows, like you never know what you're gonna get out of the red packs, uh, but you know you're gonna get at least something that you see in here. And that's what I'm doing. I, I wanna be as, as transparent as possible. So you know like, yo, if I get a red pack, I'm literally getting one of the things in here um, that you can definitely look forward to. Dude, Unbroken Bonds. We might have to do another semi-big opening of these in the near future, or just tag team in general sets. All right, so that is the red tier, but that's not the highest tier, not even close, because you can also get the silver tier. And the silver tier, you have a one in 10 shot at pulling a silver pack, which again, these are just examples here. Um, there's definitely a ton more different types of packs you can pull than what's just on the front here. Uh, that's all I can kind of fit here. Um, but the silver, yeah, so one in 10. So you open 10 of these, you got a one in 10 shot of pulling a silver, which is the second to best tier. There's some really good stuff. You ready for this? It's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, oh. So the silver tier consists of all black and white era sets. And there's a lot, like... There's like over eight, I believe, um, booster boxes worth of black and white sets in here. And there's some really good ones in here. I mean, for starters, Noble Victories, definitely not the most popular black and white set, but it's in here as one of them. It's a pretty solid set, though. Um, honestly, anything from black and white era is pretty solid at this point either way. So we got Noble Victories, a really good set here. Definitely one of the best Plasma Freeze Oh, man, got the Bisharp, the Ox is on there. Um, and these are old. So if you guys are curious, like 2013 on the bottom of this box. Um, this one, 2011. This is one of the first ones from the Black and White era for sure. So that one's like 10 years old. Um, and then I'd say the value on these packs, I want to say like the highest value you could probably get would be maybe a pack in the $125 range. Probably a little bit more than that, though. Again, it's as of the recording this, maybe up to like $140 value on the pack. Um, just as the bonus pack, right? So um, 
Next Destinies is another scent here. This is a really good one as well, dude. <sighs> Reshiram. Oh, man. Zekrom. Regigigas. Mewtwo. Another great black and white era set. Then we got Dragons Exalted. Man. Black and white era just really couldn't go wrong. So there's another one. 2012 on this one. Just all the dragons. Calling all the dragons in for this set. Uh, oh, man. There's my boy. There's my boy Gyarados. Um, by the way, if you haven't hit the like button on this video, do me a favor. Just hit the like button. Um, it helps out a ton. And, yeah, just overall really excited for this. But we're going to keep going. We do have Emerging Powers, another one that's not, like, super popular from the black and white era. But, yo, it's a vintage pack, and it's super old school. It's, like, one of the oldest. 2011 on this one as well. Um, then we got Plasma Blast. Nice set. And, actually, Plasma Blast is going to be probably a little bit higher amounts of these being pulled because i have a booster box of it and then i also have a bunch of loose packs that were also from a booster box so there's a little bit more than two booster boxes worth of plasma blast I'll actually show you guys the artworks on here oh here you go here's all four of them so really nice set here oh man Woo! it's heating up it's heating up and then finally here's the rest of the plasma blast and then finally boundaries crossed so Boundaries crossed, man. This is another one we opened up on the channel before. Really nice. Um, what year is this? 2012? Yeah. 2012 on this one. So that right there, ladies and gentlemen, it's, it's already like, dude, just look at this for a second. We're not at the gold. You, you're going to want to see what's in the gold. Um, but just look at this. 18,000 packs. I don't know how long it's going to take. I got help coming in for this. Definitely. So... Hopefully, when you see this video, they'll be dropping soon. I'll definitely let you guys know the day and everything like that. Um, but coming down to it right now, you guys saw the green tier. You saw the main sets. You saw the red. You saw silver. And now it's time for gold. Gold is the toughest to pull of them all. You got a 1 in 25 shot at pulling a gold pack. The gold packs can be worth up to $250. And again, that's a, as of the recording of this. And on the gold, I hit a ton of other errors of uh, Pokemon. Probably this one has the most errors, definitely, um, inside. And this is, this is the bin. So just so you guys know, these should be cased packed as of now to have 50 of these per case. So they'll be seated by the case. So if, if there, you open up a case of 50 of them, there should be two gold, uh, two gold inside. There should be five silver, there should be 10 red, and then the rest should be green tier inside a case pack of 50. As of the recording of this, I don't know, that might change, but I'm almost 100% sure that's how it's going to be. Um, okay, so here we go. The gold tier, 1 in 25 shots. And I'm going to open this up too to show you guys um, a demonstration here of, of an idea of how these look on the inside. So, put that there for now. And here we go. The highest tier. This is the craziest of the crazy. We have, whoo, do you feel the heat? <laughs> do you feel the heat from that? Okay, so here it is, the gold tier. There is Heart Gold Soul Silver Era in here. There's Platinum, there's Diamond and Pearl. There's Jungle, Fossil, Base 2. So let me show you guys an overview of this. We'll start with this. Ooh, Heart Gold Soul Silver Era. Crazy, the Prime cards in here. Those beautiful artwork cards that you put together. The Legendary, oh man, oh man, 2010. 2010. So we hit so many eras. We hit Diamond and Pearl. We hit Platinum. Heart Gold Soul Silver. The OG stuff. Um, black and White. Sun and Moon. X and Y. Sword and Shield. Um, just so much stuff. Like I tried to hit most of them. But anyway. So we got Unleashed. Platinum. I haven't even opened this up on the channel in opening. These are so hard to get. This is a Platinum base set box. Woo. I did get an extra. I do have an extra one of these. So actually we're going to do an opening on this uh pretty soon on the channel too so let's, let's, you know keep an eye out for that keep an eye out 2008 or nine i can't read that's a nine that's definitely a nine 2009 Woo! wait is it eight? Oh, it looks like a nine eight nine hold up it's a nine dude that was weird i kept thinking okay 2009 2009 platinum base then we'll do this one Diamond Pearl Stormfront, the Secret Rare Charizard, Charmeleon, Charmander. Greats. I love this set. Might be my favorite Diamond Pearl set. Um, 2008 on this one should be. 
Okay, that's an eight. That's what an eight looks like. Whoa. Okay. 2008 Stormfront Diamond Pearl era. Um, I think booster boxes of these are like $6,000 plus. These, I think, are like $5,000 a booster box. I mean, there's like heavy, heavy hitters in here. These are thousands and thousands on each of these. Diamond and Pearl base set. Uh, 2007. I was in high school. I was in high school on this one, too. That's wild. Uh, Diamond and Pearl base set. Another one we haven't opened up. Luckily, I do have another one of these. So we're going to be opening up one of these on the channel and one of these because um, we're trying to open up every single booster box here in the Poke. But, all right, guys, remember, I'm going to open this up in a second. And then finally, this is the oldest of the oldest stuff you can pull out of here. I have, well, let's start with Jungle. Jungle, 12 Jungle. Look at this, the Flareons, the Wigglytuffs, and the Scyther. And these are all verified. So if you guys, I have like videos on the channel if you ever want to watch. Basically just opening up the booster boxes and just sealing them up in here and all that good stuff. So these are all straight. Like I, I opened the booster box myself, so I know these are all 100% unweighed, all that good stuff. Um, so jungle. We also have fossil, of course. So the fossil booster packs, Lapras, Zapdos, and Aerodactyl. Same thing with these ones. These are all good to go. And then, last but certainly not least, base set two. All these beautiful artworks, Gyarados, Mewtwo. These are all, uh, well, these are 99, and these this was released in the year 2000. It's a mashup of base set and jungle. You got Mewtwo, Pidgeot, and Raichu. And that's the gold tier. So you know exactly, like, we're not messing around. You know exactly what you can pull depending on which tier you get. That's the gold. That's all the silver. That is the red tier. And then the green tier is going to be sword and shield stuff. And again, in the main packs, you will get sword and shield. You'll get at least five of the sets that you see here. This is crazy. This is 18,000 packs, people. 3,000 of these is um, basically the goal here. I might be able to do a little bit more. Um, I don't know if I'm going to drop these all at once. I might, you know, kind of do maybe one, wait a couple days, then do another um, drop just so people, multiple people can grab these. I don't know if I'm going to have limits on these. I really have to think about that as well. Um, it depends, you know, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to figure that out. If there's going to be limits on these, how many you can grab. Um, these are going to be priced. I tried to make them as affordable as possible. These are going to be priced at $45 each plus shipping. So it just depends on if you're, if you're, uh, in the U S shipping is going to be way, way cheap. Um, and then compared to international is going to be a little bit more, but here it is. Uh, this is just a demonstration, a sample of the final product here. I'm just going to show you exactly what you can expect when you open this, um, or an idea of it anyway. So let me just, uh, let me put this here. Okay. So these are all sealed up and everything like that. So you have to pull the tab on the side here. So let's go in and this is wave one. So I don't know if, you know, I just put it there in case we, you know, I decide to do another wave of these that'll be completely different or what. I don't know yet. <laughs> I don't know yet. Um, I'm just excited to get these and show you guys and drop these as soon as possible. But here it is. Here's an example. And we do have the red tier pack. So that's a red tier. You can expect to get, again, one of these sets in the red tier. But you, you can see like they're colored like that. I'll, I'll pull that one out in a second here. But let me pull these out. Here's going to be your five packs. Um, that you get from the Sword Shield era. So in this one, we got a Darkness of Blaze. Nice, the Charizard VMAX. We got a Chilling Rain. We get a Sword and Shield base set. Very nice. Battle Styles. And an Evolving Sky. Should I open these? I guess I'll open these. I wasn't really planning on opening the packs. Um, I was kind of like, I'm going to do, uh, I think the day I drop these, I'm going to do a big opening. I might do a big giveaway on a bunch of these. I don't know yet. I'm still figuring it out, guys. You know how I do it. It's literally day by day for me. Um, and then here's your bonus pack. Oh, and actually, you do get a Poker Rev sticker. So you can do whatever you want with that. But you get that in there as well. And here's the red. So they're literally colored. So you know, like you pull out a red one, you're like, ah, oh, nice. I got the red tier. You get a silver. You get the silver tier, and then you get gold. You'll know it's gold and green. You'll know it's green. Uh, but we'll put that there. And the same thing with this one. So this is like, yeah, I'll save it for last. <laughs> I'll save this one for last. Um, but it's going to be something. It's going to be one of these. All right, you ready for this? Let's just crack these. Let's do Darkness Ablaze. All right. 
Hopefully this video isn't too long for you guys, but uh, I'm just so excited to be able to share this with you. Like you have no idea. I just wanted to create something that people can really enjoy and have a ton of fun with. Um, and like, that's a hundred percent just super, super like, like it's crazy. Like you can get the, you can get so many crazy bags. All right. I'm sorry. I'm gonna stop talking. Oh, let's go baby. Make a full V full art. Oh, what a good bag. I don't have sleeves. I was, cause I wasn't going to do this. I wasn't going to open these. All right. We'll put that right there. Uh, that was nice. Okay. <laughs> that was nice. Ooh, let me look at that. Dang. Dang. Okay, we'll put that over there. Um, I'm literally like, this is like a makeshift like opening table right here. Uh, chilling rain. Let's do it. Chilling rain. Let's, let's make it chilly. Let's make it chilly in here. We got sunny cast form. Sveal. Little rock rough in the snow. Shop it. The puppet. Ooh. Okay, not hollow out of that one. There's the code card. And it's so cool because like, I wanted to make sure that you could get all these really cool sword and shield sets. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna throw all of them in. I'm gonna do all of them. And like, you always have a different pack, you know? This makes a lot more fun. Sword and shield base set. Um, literally haven't opened up one of these in forever. Let's get something good. Green and white code card, nice, okay. That's a good sign. We'll put that one out now. All right. Rhyhorn, Blip Bug, Sable, Big Charm, and a Sandaconda Hollow. Sweet. All right. All right. We got a hollow. We got a hollow. I'm going to put it over there next to my Vicka Vault. Not on it, please. Thank you. Okay. This is getting a little messy. It's getting a little messy. We're good, though. All right. Battle Styles ended on Evolving Skies. And then we're going to see what we got in our, our red pack. All right. Let's go. Battle Styles. Lick it tongue. Elect a buzz. In a slow rush. I should probably pull it up to the camera. I'm, I'm not used to doing openings on like this. It's a little bit different. Um, let's do the Evolving Skies now. Let's go. Give me a little luck on Evolving Skies. I can't wait to do like a big open. I might even open... I might do like an entire case of these. So I remember I said there's going to be 50 in a case. So I might just do a case. Like just open up an entire case. I don't know though. That one might be like a live stream because that would take a while to go through a case, but it'd be a ton of fun. Um, Drowsy. Wishy washy. Oh, let's go. Dracozolt VMAX. Not even bad. Yo, we're actually doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good. All right. So that's out. I think. Is that in focus? Yeah. Okay. So we got the Dracozolt VMAX going in our pile of hits there. That's pretty solid. Um, okay. So here's our red pack. And again, same thing with these. Got to kind of pull this. To open it and then you can see what you got and we got evolving skies all right mega blastoise on the front there I, I don't know how much these go for i think these are like 15 to 20 dollars a pack maybe? i don't even know all right let's pull something big on our last pack let's go we got a star you energy growlith growly we got a ghastly charmander nice Ooh, machamp we got a rare reverse Let's go. I don't even have sleeves. I can't believe I don't have sleeves. I always have sleeves. Not today, though. Machamp Reverse Rare? No. Oh, it's an Arcanine. Yo, but the Patrol, it got me. Woo! All right, code card going out. So, I hope that when these drop... We got some pretty good hits. I hope when these drop, you guys really enjoy these. And uh, I can't wait to see what you guys pull. Like, I'm just excited. So, if you do grab these, uh, throw it on wherever you want to share it. YouTube, Twitter, all that good stuff. Uh, Instagram. These are them. That was an example. Five packs plus one mega bonus pack. Green, red, silver tier. This is going to be crazy. This is going to be crazy. All right. I guess I got to get to work. And um, yeah, you'll be seeing me soon once I release these to all you guys. I cannot wait. Yeah, that's going to be it. I'll give you guys an update as soon as possible. And I will see you on the next one.